Hello, this is the Han Informer, and today I'm talking about new masks from Pumpkin Pulp Productions. Here is a new mask from December of 2020 called Knocked, and this is a Krampus variant. He has a long tongue and big curved horns, pointy teeth, and has a moving mouth so you can moat with your customers. There is lots of good quality hair work on this mask. This mask would definitely work as an icon for your Christmas haunt, and that character could take pictures with your customers, whether it be at a photo op or just roaming around your midway. The finale for your Christmas haunt could be going through Krampus's lair, and you could use this mask as Krampus, and he would definitely scare people. It'd be a scary good time. Starting off the new masks from 2021, this is the Ragman. It is a new face mask you can get from Pumpkin Pulp Productions. It has a movable mouth, and it's only $40. It's a great price for a good quality product, and it has nice burlap texturing on it. And you can see there's some grungy teeth exposed, and I like that because it adds to the character. And the Ragman can reside in a haunted mansion or a haunted cornfield. This mask is a great option for a chainsaw character because it's lightweight, it's easy to see and hear out of, and you can be expressive. There's a moving mouth, so you can easily talk to your customers. Being able to see and hear is important for any scare actor, but especially chainsaw scare actors that run around all over the place. And this mask is called French Kiss. It has long wispy hair and a gory tongue sticking to the side and a twisted jaw with the teeth. So that's really gnarly if you want to have that gory detail for a mask. Definitely choose this one. It has a big gash on the face. has a scratch above the eye. He's really messed up. You could use this mask in multiple storylines for your haunted attractions. You could make him a devious killer, a victim of an encounter of a deranged doctor or dentist. And you could have it as a zombie that is in search of brains. On to the new primate masks from Pumpkin Pulp Productions. This is the first one. It is a crazy chimpanzee. Has a big scratch above the eye. There's lots of hair work. There's a cut on the lip and there's blood on the teeth. So it has some gory detail on it. One way you could use this mask is if you had a cage maze in your haunted attraction. Where you had lots of cages with props of chimpanzees. And you could have a soundtrack of them yelling. It'd be really cool. And you could have multiple chimpanzee scare actors wearing this mask, and they could break out of cages with bendable bars, and they could scare the customers. Here's the other new primate mask called Rage. It is a vicious mandrel. It has a scratch above the eye and lots of scratches on the nose, and it has some really massive scary teeth. And you can see that prominent blue face and the big red nose. Mandrels live in forests in Africa, so there could be a set in your haunted attraction that is an African forest. In that scene, there could be props of people that have been attacked and killed by mandrels, and they could be strewn across the set, and then you can have multiple props of mandrels, an intense soundtrack of distress calls from them calling to each other. That would set the tone for the room and make your customers uneasy, so that mix of props and an intense soundtrack would be really good quality distractions, and set up your customers for startle scares from your mandrel scare actors wearing this mask. That was the Han Informer. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get a notification every single time I put up a new video. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And I am on social media. I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find all those links in the description below. And as always, happy hauntings.